Former high-profile political donor Ed Buck has been sentenced to 30 years in prison for drug and sex crimes that led to the death of two men. After years of fighting for Buck's arrest, tonight the families feel they have some measure of justice. KKL 9's Tom Waite is here now with, with um, the emotions and reactions from the families. Tom, that's right. Well, what we, you know, we've been on this story for years, mm -hmm. and this is the culmination of a lot of investigation and a lot of advocacy on behalf of some activists. And Ed Buck once had power and influence, but he turned into a depraved predator, targeting young, poor, black gay men, dosing them, even injecting them with meth to the point of death. Triumphant family members and friends of Ed Buck's victims left court after his sentencing. The former wealthy Democratic donor will spend 30 years in prison for supplying deadly doses of drugs to two men. I'm so happy and pleased that we could put this part behind us. Letitia Nixon is Jamel Moore's mother. 26-year-old Moore died of a meth overdose in Buck's apartment in July of 2017. No one wanted to touch this. This has been a long time coming, so um, we're very happy and I'm just, I'm ready to just put this behind me and go, you know, ahead with uh, healing because I, I haven't been able to heal, me nor my ki other kids. Buck supplied 55-year-old Timothy Dean with a fatal dose of meth in January of 2019. His family was also in court for the sentencing. No amount of time can bring my brother back, but um, I feel some kind of solace and some kind of relief for my family that he will be in prison for a very long time. The last person known to survive Buck's meth den was Dane Brown. His story helped detectives crack the case. He's destroyed families and he's destroyed lives. Buck's behavior sparked outrage, but his arrest didn't come until years after Moore's death and only after federal investigators took over the case. The 67-year-old, who donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to Democratic politicians and causes, preyed on young, poor black men. Our David Goldstein tracked down and confronted Buck before his arrest. Can you answer the question, sir? Is it, is it a coincidence that two men have died in your apartment? Why are you walking backwards, sir? Jasmine Kanek, a political strategist and community activist fought hard to make sure Buck was held accountable. She thanked prosecutors for their hard work. I believe that victims of crime matter and I'm happy that you do too. Buck spoke briefly before he was sentenced, claiming he loved his two victims. He apologized, but also claimed he did not cause their deaths. Clearly, the judge and jury disagreed. I'm Tom Waite. Juan, back to you. Tom, thank you. Thank